Next, let's take a look at custom hotbars. This is useful for all types of players, your builders, your slime stoners, your red stoners, your technical builders, whatever you want to do. You can save up to nine custom hotbars inside the game. So I've opened up my creative inventory and we can see here this saved hotbars. I've seen a lot of people not really know what this is and I myself will admit I don't use it as often as I should. But what we have is we have these custom hotbars that we can save with whatever blocks we want. First, you want to check what your hotkeys are. So go to options, controls, key settings, and then we're going to scroll down to we get to creative mode and we want load hotbar and save hotbar. So this is going to be your modifier that you're going to use. Uh, in my case, it's X and C. I know they're red for me because I have a lot of mods that kind of double up keybinds, but you can change this to whatever you want. I'd recommend setting these to something that you remember because if you accidentally override a hotbar and save it, it's gone. And so X and C kind of close to each other. So you can do something like L for load and S for save if you want. X and C are the defaults. So that's what I'm going to use for this, but you can know that you can just change those to whatever you want. This is just a sample of the hotbars that I have saved. And these are common hotbars that I would need all these tools for. For example, this one is for building item sorters. So I've got really everything I need there for a basic item sorter. If I want to do slime stone, these are the common blocks to be used. Uh, just some random stuff to build around farm designs that I may be doing. Here's some tools like the Lightmatica tool, the world edit tool, a sword with the standard enchantments, that type of thing. Um, we have just the kind of weird blocks that I seem to randomly need. Here's an example of a builder's palette. So if you have a build palette that you're doing and you want to save it and then you want to experiment with other things, you can, you can reload that. Here's the uh, damage hot bar that I have. I don't know what else to call it. It's just for damage. And the way that we save these is take the blocks that you want to save into a hot bar and we'll just add them in here. And this is the worst hot bar ever, but you can do whatever you want. Then we're going to hold down our C key or whatever you change save to, and then press the number on our keyboard that we want to save it to. I'm going to save this to slot number nine. So I'm going to press C nine and we can see there it's going to say item hot bar saved. And now if I even clear everything out and I press X, the load modifier button and that same number, then it's going to load that right back up. So I can go X1, X2, X3, X4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. That's it for this one. Just a quick sampling of what you can do with those custom hotbars. So you can save those. That'll be persistent in your client on your computer across games. Uh, so that's not something that saves on the server or anything. That's just a configuration for you. And that is all completely vanilla. No mods needed or anything. So no matter what type of client you're on, you can use that in vanilla Minecraft. We'll catch you later. Have a good one. Bye.